a hearing held today in the case of Deputy Peter Peraza, charged in the 2013 death of Jermaine McBean. Peraza's defense team wants access to certain records. And Local 10 News reporter Amy Viteri joins us live now from Fort Lauderdale. Amy. Well, Victor Janine, this was a win for Peter Peraza and his defense team as a judge agreed to consider releasing medical records from Jermaine McBean, the man who was shot. Now, all of this came after testimony regarding McBean's mental history and whether or not that played a role in the shooting, which the defense is now calling suicide by cop. And I want to take you right to some video from inside the courtroom. Peter Peraza was there for the hearing today as his attorney argued they should have access to Jermaine McBean's mental health history, claiming his bipolar disorder made him suicidal. Peraza is facing manslaughter charges after he shot and killed 33-year-old McBean at his Oakland Park apartment complex back in July of 2013. Deputies responded to that area because of 911 calls that a man was carrying a rifle. It turned out McBean was carrying an unloaded pellet gun. Now, Peraza's attorneys say McBean had been treated for a mental breakdown in the weeks before the shooting, but McBean's family called this a fishing expedition, saying it violates his privacy and he did nothing illegal. This is a man who had mental health issues, was walking down the street with a gun and took it out of a bag and pointed it and didn't listen to the commands and was shot. Yes, my brother did have a mental problem. I mean, it's been, it's in the papers, it's everywhere. It's a private matter and we'd like it to remain private. It's a sad situation. It's very sad. And I'm sorry he's fighting for his life, but I'm also fighting for my child. Well, the judge will now review those records and hold a private hearing with both sides to determine what, if anything, should be released. And in the next hour, we will take you inside the courtroom to hear some of that testimony. We're live at the Broward County Courthouse. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.